Crescendo activated, and we'll go on in match eight here of the 15 total we play before we move on to the finals. Here in our playoff rounds of the Sun Dome event, Red Alliance pulls ahead just a little bit here in our free program autonomous 17, 24, there we go, 24 to 17. Your final resulting score for autonomous. The evolution of the pool noodles continues. So the last time we saw Lions Bite, they had just one of these. Now they've got three. I think mathematically speaking, if we're following the Fibonacci sequence, what is it, is it five is the next one? Something like that? Anyway, they gotta win this match to, well, actually, they'll, they'll have another match either way. So we'll actually see what it is, because this is an upper bracket match. Minute and 45 left to play. Our defender is now parked in blue turf and absolutely ready to rumble. Here comes the Metal Mallards. They're looking to pick up one point in the amp. That one's going to go pretty much undefended because Lion's Bite sees the bigger strategy here of slowing down those cycles of Chuck and Titan. Titan able to get their five-pointer while they uh, the speaker was amplified. Chuck's off the mark. It bounces off the edge of those pool noodles. And they've got a whole new gambit to contend with there. A little over a minute left to play. The Red Alliance leads by 11. They're back at their loading zone. There's Steel Ridge Robotics scooping up a note from that loading zone, and then they juggle it in front of the amp. It does not make it into the amp. IRS has the other component of what would have been that offensive cycle, but here's the Metal Mallards quacking their way across as they really are trying to get to their own amp, but they'll take the opportunity to just take five or so seconds of IRS's cycle time there. Now the Mallards looking for what their next task will be. I think they want that note that's right in front of that Lion's Bite machine in front of the Blue Alliance subwoofer. They got to really fight for it, though. Lion's Bite gnashing and clawing their way around in front of that speaker. Waiting for it, waiting for it. They're trying to block Chuck. Chuck's note off base, distracted by the pool noodles. Titan also off base, and the Red Alliance extends to it. Although the Blue Alliance still mostly staying with it. We're in our end game period now, final 20 seconds. In comes our high notes from the human players. Just one more try here on red, it's good. Stage right is spotlit, and that means that that Steel Ridge Robotics machine is up there for four points of Alliance score. IRS climbs up stage left for three. And the Blue Alliance total chaos as they start climbing. Chuck is definitely in the air. Mallard's definitely in the air. Titan, I'm gonna let the referees determine that one. And we'll get a score to you here in just a minute. Live score is separated by the seven points. The diamond score does end in a Red Alliance victory by only six. That end game making all the difference over there on the Red Alliance. That was not an elimination match. The Red Alliance just continues along in the upper bracket. They have to go face Alliance one in match number 11, I, I think. And anyway. We'll see more of Alliance 3 in match number 10. They'll be facing against Alliance 8 from a little while ago. Match number 9, round 3, lower bracket match coming up in just a moment. 